What is going on guys, my name is Baron or Developer B, and welcome back to episode 13 of the Bucky Coding Tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create a warps plugin. And pretty much what this plugin is going to do is it's going to have a set warp command and a regular warp command. The set warp command is going to set up a warp and save the contents to a config and the warp is going to grab those contents from the config and teleport the player to those contents that will make a location. And I will explain that in further detail once we start getting coding. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So I'm gonna explain what's going on right here. So we are going to have a config which saves the contents of the location. So I have that set up and then right here, I have that we are setting the player as the sender because the console is not gonna be able to send these commands because there has to be a particular location inside of the game and the console is obviously not inside of the game so it can't send anything and right here this may look a little weird to you guys but these two commands are both gonna have the same argument requirements so we can just go ahead and put them inside of this args.length equals one and on the outside we have args.length equals zero and the too many arguments because both of them are going to take one and Right here, we're gonna specify the name of the warp. We're gonna ask them to, because both of these are gonna require the name of the warp. And then the name of the warp is not gonna be over one argument. So that's why we have too many arguments. So now we are gonna go in here. And I will get to this later. I'll explain what that means. But let's go ahead and go up here. And we're actually just gonna say string arg equals args zero dot to lowercase and pretty much what this is going to do is this is going to make the plugin more user friendly and it's going to allow the user to completely camel case the warp and it will still go to the same warp so it'll change all the warps to lowercase and whenever the player sets a warp they won't have to type in the exact warp that they type and they can camel case it and it'll automatically save it to lowercase so it's going to be much easier and efficient so let's go ahead and get into this set warp and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this config layout that we have and i'm going to explain it so pretty much we have this giant configuration section called warps this is going to be the main configuration section and this is going to hold every single warp that we create so here is a warp an example warp that we're going to have so this is arg zero and inside the warp each warp is going to contain a world x y z yaw and pitch and the yaw and pitch are optional for locations we only need these four mainly but for the sake of players and user friendliness of this plugin we are going to have the yaw and pitch because it controls where the player looks in the game and we're going to have it set to exactly where the player is looking when they set that warp and obviously this is going to go on forever so if we have multiple warps then we're going to have args one or whatever right here and so on and it'll just keep going on and each of these warps are going to have world x y z yaw and pitch so let's go ahead and get started with this and start creating this set warp so pretty much we're going to start by saying git config dot set and we're going to say warps dot arg dot world and we're going to set that to player dot oops player dot get world dot name get name <laughs> get name and this is going to set the first part of the config up so we're going to have warps dot then arg zero so this is the arg dot world and each of the configuration sections are set by dots so more the more dots you put the farther in the directory these are going to go and we are actually going to go ahead and copy and paste this because most of them are going to look like this so we're actually just going to copy and paste this right here so it just goes down easier. And we're going to have one, two, three. Okay, that looks good enough. So this is going to be X, Y, oops, Z. This is Y. This is yaw. And this is pitch. That actually worked out perfectly. So then we just go over here and we say get location dot get X and each of these coordinates have their own method inside of the get location so just say get location dot get y z pitch yaw pretty self-explanatory and then okay <laughs> i guess i yeah i messed that up a little bit so go right here then change this to y then change this to z 
then change this to yaw. And I don't know why that isn't working. Oh yeah, get location. Location, there we go. And then this is going to be pitch. So now we have all of these nice and set up and we are going to now save the config. And now this is going to look exactly like is shown right here. So this is going to turn into this and that's what it's going to look like. So there we go. We have grabbed the contents from the player's location and we are putting it into this config arranged like so. And we're gonna save the config and we're gonna send the player a message with a chatcolor.green saying that they successfully added a new warp and we are going to say chat color dot dark green and then arg yeah arg i don't know why i did that then chat color dot green exclamation there we go so now we are done with this and let's go ahead and go into warp and we are going to add the warp command so what this warp command is going to actually do is grab these contents and turn it into a real warp that the player can teleport to. So first, we are going to check and see if the warp exists, because if we don't check if the warp exists and the player puts in a warp that does not exist, then it is going to give an error in the console, no pointer exception. So we're going to check the config and make sure that this configuration section exists. So warps dot arg, arg. We're gonna check and make sure that that exists. So we're gonna say equals null. If it equals null, then we are going to send the player a message. Chat color dot red saying the oops the specified or a warp a warp with that name does not exist. Just like that. And return true. There we go. So now we have this nice and set up. So now we definitely know that this warp that they're going to exist. So now we have to pull the information out of this config into this command. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to start by saying world, world, it's a bucket import world equals bucket dot get world. And as you can see, that takes a string name and we can just go ahead and say get config dot get string uh, warps dot arg dot world and there we go so as you can see that works out nicely we have now pulled the world from the config and now all we have to do is pull the other so the double x is the x coordinate so we can say bucket dot or not bucket just say get config dot get double there's a nice command and then warps dot this and we can actually just go ahead and copy and paste this at this point because this is when it gets repetitive. So just go ahead and do that. And this is going to be dot X and we can actually copy and paste this. Just go like this and copy and paste it. One, two, three, four, like that. So now we can say this is Y, 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 and this is Z and Z. And now these are going to be different because pit, yaw and pitch are floats. So we're going to say yaw, and then this is going to be pitch, and this is going to be a float. But there is an error because it says get double. Well, how do we do that? We can just go ahead and use casting, just cast them to floats, and that will work. Now we can just go over here and say yaw and pitch, yaw, pitch. Make sure everything's set up up here. Yep. Got to make sure because somewhere you could go wrong in this copy and pasting. Now, all we have to do now, since we have all the variables set up and we know what we're accessing, we can go ahead down here and say player dot teleport to a new location of world x, y, z, yaw, yaw, and pitch. And there we go. So as you can see, that all works out. And if we go in this location, we can see that we're using world double x, y, z, yaw, and pitch. So that's a nice little layout. You could actually just plug all of these in in here, but this is more laid out nice and you guys can tell what exactly is going on. So I just did that for the sake of this video. Now we could go down here and say, send message chat color dot green 
you successfully teleported to the warp and then chat color dot dark green arg plus chat color dot green and we are actually done that is it and it's a pretty basic plugin if you think about it there was just a lot of copy and pasting and editing and stuff and if we look in plugin.yml we have set warp warp just everything set up need to make sure that everything is nice up where it's supposed to be make sure you didn't spell anything wrong because that could be a major issue this looks pretty good to me so i think we should go ahead and try and start this up so let's go ahead and build this build it and there we go so we can go ahead and we're going to open this file we're going to have a few things open right now so let's go ahead go in here and have this file open just in case so let's go ahead and say reload and pl and there is the warps right there as you can see in the bottom left right here and we are going to check and as you can see this opened up with a config but it is empty and we need to set a new warp so let's go run over here and let's set it like right by this creeper and we're going to call this warp creeper so we're going to say set warp creeper or we can look watch if we if we do it in this camel case what i meant it will say add a new warp creeper and it put it all in lowercase because that is what we wanted to do when we put it into lowercase go in the config and as you can see warps is set up with creeper and it gives you the exact locations and stuff just like we had it right here so we can actually set multiple warps so let's go set another one to way over here or something to this cow right here for instance we can say slash set warp cow or cow all caps and it'll say successfully add a new warp cow and we can set one to this the center of this village set warp village and there we go so now we have three nice warps set up if we go in here and go to here this won't update so let's just reopen it we have three set up village cow and creeper let's go ahead and try and visit all of these so let's go warp name oops a warp with that name does not exist so so you can see that worked and now if we say slash warp creeper we came right here to the same pitch and y'all that we were at the creeper is gone for some reason but as you can see we were facing this exact way whenever we created it and we can go to slash warp cow as you can see there's our cow right over there and if we run over here something and do slash warp village it will take us to the village so thank you guys for watching that was a pretty basic tutorial on warps i hope i explained everything nicely to you guys and hopefully you learned something out of that so i will see you guys in episode 14 of the bucket coding tutorial series